Yo guys, welcome to my channel. It's Room Xblade, and in today's video, I will show you how you can break textures in Prisma 3D. So here I have a texture. Let's make it a little bigger, and then we have to add some cuts. So for now, I just let me just remove the texture. Okay, and now we have to add some cuts. Let a little higher. Okay now with the this with the cutter we have to add some cuts one will be here let's add some more you can use loop cuts but with loop cut you can't make a breaking like cut like this one here and in this part add some random cuts like this some more one will be here and one here one like like this and here some just add some random cuts so that it will look natural and we will divide this into parts select each face and cut it this will be break from here and this from here then break it to like this and break it into parts why it looks a little weird let's see okay so i think this will be enough and now we have to de detach all the faces but prisma 3d don't allow you to detach any face from your mesh so how to do that to do to do that you have to just copy your object few times and for each face you have to delete the other faces but to do it uh, the fastest way to do that is divide them in each two pieces like for the first plane I select this half this side I mean I'll divide it in like this and I'll let it and in this piece I'll delete this part and keep the other part so now we have two pieces like this and this th the same thing you have to do with same with this piece so now let's divide it into pieces and keep this and delete the other so now we have again we have two different pieces this the same thing you have to do and until you have every individual piece in a different mesh so let's do that i'll just so here as you can see i have all the parts divided in different pieces here so now let's add the texture like this so yeah it's a different piece now let's we have to first now we have to rig our mod object each object for like in every piece we have to add a bone so let's start with this piece one bone will be in the middle okay 
and in a add each bone in the middle of a piece So let's see if I leave any any object left or not. So here, one, two. Some planes are left are not rigged. So let's see. First, let's close all the planes. There are so many planes who have not rigged. So here is one. Then here is one. and any other yep, here one is here but it's so rigged i think where is oh there are two planes same in same position so let's see any other plane here yeah okay so all the everything is done so now let's add the texture and before that before doing any animation you a little tip for you select all the bones and then rig it like add a animation in minus one so if you any by any mistake if you do anything like this your get moved so you can just fix it from here copy the animation from here and then paste in any place you want so let's group it and now let's make an animation so here i'll just rotate it so let's add something like bullet so here i'll add it i have a gun also let's delete the gun because i don't need it i just need the bullet take the bullet in the here let's rotate it so in zero frame zero it will be here and in frame 30 or in frame 20 it will be here but then let's for to so show a slow motion in next hundred for next hundred frame it will be here like this this okay so now start our animation in which frame it's touching the like the screen or our texture here we have to like keyframe all the bones in this frame okay so just leave this now let's animate it for next 100 frames where the blood go yeah here so now we have to animate it or each piece you can just rotate it
Okay, so my animation is done here. So let's play the animation and see what's going on. So as you can see, the breaking breaking is working good, but the bullet is in the wrong place. So let's just do some adjustments. So let's see where from where it's starting breaking. So here it starts breaking at at this point here we have to put our bullet like in this place here okay so here will be our bullet come out at this place and it's in this position and in zero it will be like little further but it's not like say want and then after 4200 it will be slower like this but okay now it's okay so here we have to do some more adjust adjustments like where the bullet is touching the screen it will be till more fast like here break more fast like this and then it will go slow it's just a little bit Now let's play the animation. Yeah, it will be nice. So with I show you the trick with this trick you can make an texture break animation. So if you like the video, you know what to do, and we'll meet again in next video. Bye.